Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm back with something so interesting and I keep saying that in each video but it's interesting for me. Also, I'm posting a little less. I'm not active on Instagram at all. My reading has gone down to a zero because college has begun. So now college is like uh, a fall between all of my pleasures. So my sleeping pattern, my reading pattern, my interaction online all go down in the way when the college starts. So now, because I've promised myself that I'll be a better person this year, I'm going to be more organized. Me, I'm going to be more organized guys. I will manage it all. <laughs> so yeah, so today we're going to talk about my World Book Fair book haul because I didn't talk about that and a lot of you asked me to do that. So let's do it. Uh, you can see I have a huge pile over here and most of them are classics because I have tried to take up the uh, initiative of reading a lot of classics this year uh, even though it's a little hard you get you know you take time to read it to get into it and uh, but I'm gonna try I'm gonna try because I am suddenly really fascinated by classics so without any further ado we're gonna start with it so let's go so when I said that I'll be more organized person this year if you have seen it on Instagram and if you have not guys please Please go to the description and follow me, uh, talk to me. <laughs> so yeah, so I have sorted through the ways of journaling. I got this book last year, it is uh, last year's journal but I didn't want it to waste it, it's so pretty. Uh, I ended up using it for my book progress. How I'm doing this is I have divided sections from, uh, so I did this. I was so satisfied with this that of course I started this. Anyway, so I have got these columns where I write the books that I own and then I have column of red and rating and it's so satisfying when I pick it on the red and give it a rating and uh, then I have a column that is about the books that I've bought in a month and then there is a column which talks about the books that I've read in a month so this is going great guys and it's actually motiva motivating me a lot to read and uh, so I thought I'm going to talk about books, their MRPs and the prices I got them from and uh, I'm going to do it quickly. Why the fuck you lying? Why? Why you always lying? And make it a less painful video so that you guys can watch it entirely. The first four books that I'm going to talk about are for 33 rupees each guys. It was a deal. 3 for 100. I had to buy two books for my younger Brothers who have just started reading and it's such a pleasure to buy them books and look at them when they're reading. I feel so proud. So yeah, uh, I had to buy one extra book for myself which is 4 books for this deal. Giving it a total of 200 rupees that I have to, sp I have to spend for 6 books. And if you want to know it's 0 0.47 US dollars because I just googled it. The first book I'm going to talk about made me feel a little surprised because I saw this book there. This author is actually really appreciated author. I have one series by him but I have not read it yet and uh, the book is released by Patrick Ness and I, and I bought this book for 33 rupees but uh, on Amazon it was for 92 rupees and I was quite surprised but still I got it for 33 and I am satisfied with that. The next book I am going to talk about is one that must be known to all of you and it is Room by Emma. Uh, it is uh, a book that I bought for again 33 rupees and I wanted to read this for a long time which is why I bought it. Online it is for 289 rupees so getting it for 33 was a deal. The next book is A Place for Us. I bought it for 33. It was for 340 rupees on Amazon the day I saw it. Next book is by Ian and it is Even Dogs in the Wild. I uh, bought it for again 33 rupees. It is for 920 rupees online on Amazon. Next book is a classic which I bought to complete my Russian series uh, by Penguin and the book is Dr. Zivago by Boris and uh, this is the fourth book in the Russian series for me. This book is for 4.99 and I bought it for 3.99 it was 100 less. On Amazon it is for 4.99 as well so it is a deal. Next three books are also vintage classics and they are the Japanese editions the first book is the Makioka Sisters. It is for $5.99 uh, the MRP. I bought it for $4.79. Online it is for $512. The next book is The Sailor Who Fell from the Grace with the Sea by Mishima. 
This book is also MRP at 600 rupees. I bought it for 479 rupees. Online it is for 512. Next book is Out by Kirino and this book is priced at 600 rupees. I bought it for 479. Next book is by an author who has been loved by a lot of people and I have one series by him which is The Miss Bond. I have not read it guys. Uh, but I, one of my favorite books that I was talking about him all the time, so I had to buy it. And the book is Edge Dancer by Brandon Sanderson. And now you know, uh, the book is for 300 rupees. I bought for 300 rupees. The MRP is 700 rupees. On Amazon, it was for 600 rupees. Ha! Huh. That was a lot to say. Next book I'm going to show you is going to blow your mind, guys, because it's so gorgeous. So actually, I saw it online at some online buying portal. And... Uh, they were giving it away, they didn't have it in stock anymore and I was like, God, I missed it. Um, because I, I was going to buy the title anyway someday, but I ended up buying this at Penguin Stall at World Book Fair. Even though it turned out to be a little expensive than, than Amazon, it balanced out in the ending. So that was a relief and without any further ado, the book is Dew by Frank Herbert. So the book is this gorgeous guys look at this I am loving the turquoise the dark oceany blue um, it's so pretty but that's not all it has amazing end papers like uh, this is beautiful also that's not all it has a pretty jacket guys it has an illustrated jacket Tell me it's not a beautiful edition because I think it is. Also they have this engraving at the naked back and front. Actually, so how pretty is that? So I bought it. It was for uh, 1399 as an MRP. I bought it for 1119 rupees. On Amazon, it is for 1050 rupees. So, but I'm fine with it. It's a gorgeous edition. Now, I'll show you uh, these editions by Penguin, which are the Red Spine editions. And I bought quite a lot of them because I got these amazing deals on them. And as I said, I'll be reading a lot of classics now. So, the deal was you buy one book and you get one free. So, that was a great deal for me. And I ended up buying quite a lot of books. So, let's go ahead and show you all of them. The first book is damn thick. It is a thick book guys and I'm not kidding. And the book is The Count of Monte Cristo. This is how the book looks and this is how thick it is guys. Look, look at this. It's almost as thick as my three fingers. Anyway, so I bought it for $4.99 and online it is for $3.47. But I bought a book that's free with this which is Point Counterpoint. It is for 500 rupees on the MRP. Online it is for 385. So I bought two books for 500 rupees, which ended up saving me a total of 230 something rupees. The next book is Stoner. Again, it's for 4.99. I bought a book free with it. Next is Far Eastern Tales. The Emigrants. Demons, Hocus Pocus, and The Quiet American. So I ended up spending 2000 rupees for all those books. Next, I bought some more Penguin Classics, Red Spine, and one other edition as well. And they had this deal where you can, if you grab two Penguin Classics, you get 20%. If you buy three, you get 40%. And if you buy four, I think you get 60% on them. So I ended up buying, I guess, four books? Five. So I, so I ended up getting five books. So the first one is Heroes and Villains series. I bought I have one book of this series, but I already have three to four from this series already. Uh, the book is Dr. No. And this is how it looks. I got it for 199 rupees. The next book is The Heart of Matter. It's again The Red Spine by Penguin. The next book is All Passion Spent, again a red spine. The next book is The Song Lines and from the same author, the other book is In Patagonia. 
these are all the five that I bought from that stall and I ended up spending 1300 rupees on these. The last book that I'm going to show you is one that I bought for my mother and she wanted to start reading Hindi books and uh, I ended up buying one for her and it is because I love this series and I decided to buy the first edition in Hindi and it is Harappa by Vineet Bajpai and that is my last book that I had to show you guys. That was my book haul. I bought a lot of books and if we count, I bought a total of 23 books this year and all of them are in amazing shapes and I did end up spending a lot but I saved around 3 to 4 thousand rupees. So those were all the books and I am uh, thankful that you came and you sat along through all of that and please comment down below which edition is your favorite, which one do you own and what have you read already. So thank you so much for coming here and keep watching my videos. Bye!